513, and today, oh. Crown 4 is celebrating Founders Day of Caring. Yes, it's something we do every year uh, inside of our parent company, Nexstar. To celebrate the founding of the company, we do a day of volunteering, and this year is extra special because we're celebrating 25 years since the founding of our company. Yeah, we're all going to be giving back today to the community volunteering at the San Francisco Marin Food Bank. And Crawford's Will Tran is already there. Good morning, Will. <laughs> We are dead serious about giving back because you can clearly see, look at this t-shirt, says Founders Day and we are giving back and no place gives back more than food banks across the country and right here in San Francisco. We will talk to the people at the San Francisco Marin Food Bank in just a few moments, but let me walk around and just show you how things are. They're busy, vaccine for COVID-19, no problems, vaccine for hunger, they have yet to come up with one. So that's why they are hustling and bustling. You can see shelves here. This is good news. I've been to other food banks where they were barren. This one, you walk down and it looks like a Costco. You walk down and they're filled with food. So that is good news that people are stepping up despite the struggle of what's going on. They're even saying that the struggle resembles the Great Recession of 2009 when the economy took a tank when there's so many layoffs. This reminds them of that. Here's Earl Teasley with the San Francisco Marin Food Bank. Good morning, sir. Let's talk about the need. You, Post-pandemic, or pre-pandemic, it was bad. What's it now? Uh, Post-pandemic, we, we went from, at pre, should I say, we had 32,000 uh, food we were giving out to, to families. Now the need is doubled. So we're up to about 55,000 home uh, people that we feed, about one to six people in the household. So it's, it's increasing. The, the need is not going away. It's actually increasing. This is not going to go away. So we need volunteers um, every day. We need donations every day. This is uh, a very serious thing. The pandemic may be going away slightly, but we still have a great need here at the food bank for her. Did you see in the heart of the pandemic the donations dropping off a little bit? People were being laid off. They were working from home, furloughed. Did you see at any point in time the donations dropping off? They dropped off a slight bit, but the good thing about the city is that we all come together as a team. So people were still giving. They were giving what they had because everyone can see. We see it everywhere throughout the city. So they were, the donations were slightly dropping, but now we need. The people are still in need. The, the hunger won't go away. Talk about the families. They're showing up, and you're saying about six family members per household. Yes. I'm sure they're so grateful for the box of food that they get daily. Yes, it's, it's good to see the look on people's face. It's just food gives you hope, you know, in a pandemic. So when people get the food, the families are, are grateful and they want to help out. Every weekend I see kids, adults, um, people of all ages coming in and just helping pack the food up so we can actually reach out to people. You'll see a lot of Crown 4 employees today. They will be out there to help as well. Uh, how can they possibly reach out and help? I'd like to get my kids down here and teach them generosity. You can go on the food bank website and sign up. You can even come down here and sign up for like a standby. We always have that. You can go down to uh, Illinois 1050 and we, you can sign up, volunteer. We never turn anyone away and you can just box up the food. You can help give a little bit. If you have two hours, we accept two hours. So you can sign up and go online on the food bank website. You can come on site and volunteer. And we not just need volunteer, we need those donations. Donations, donations, I, I can't say enough. They, they will never not need food. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And we are going to be here throughout the morning to highlight the need and how you can possibly volunteer. This is good to see. I've been to other food banks, James and Dario, where they didn't even have half the amount. So they're taking care of that, but it doesn't box up themselves. They have to have human hands, of course. Come on down. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll talk about how they're expanding their warehouses, not just here, but other places, because like he said, the need will never go away. Back to you. Wow. All right. Really fun to see inside of their will. We can't wait to get out there ourselves later on this morning and do our bit to volunteer. Thanks, Thank Paul. you. Yeah, right after the show. Yep. We're all going to be there.